Hi there, my name's Naira, and for this chair yoga sequence, all you need is a stable chair that allows you to have your feet firmly planted on the floor. So let's get started with some gentle stretching. So sit forward on your chair, make sure that you're really sitting on the sit bones, not the tailbone, so not rolling back. You're sitting on the part of your buttocks where the bottom of the bum meets the top of the thighs, growing tall through the crown of the head, really lengthening up, finding a long straight spine, back of the neck is long, feet planted on the floor, hip width apart, directly beneath the knees. And we're just gonna synchronize breath with movement, really simple, inhale, raise the arms, palms to touch, exhale, lower the arms, and again, inhale. Inhale as you raise, Exhale as you lower, always breathing through the nose, keeping the mouth closed. Let's do three more in time to your own breath. Reaching up as high as you can, lengthening through the spine. Lovely, and let's take a side stretch. Inhale, float the right arm up. Bring it over towards the left side, bringing the right hand over towards the left. Keeping the right sit bone grounded to the chair. Palm facing down. Just stretching through the right side as you breathe through the nose. And exhale, release, other side. Inhale, float the left arm up, reach the left hand over to the right. Left sit bone stays grounded. Shoulder away from the ear. And exhale, release. Let's do some really easy twists. I'm very pregnant at the moment, two weeks from my due date, so I will not be doing any abdominal twisting. It's more for the upper back. So open the legs out, feet turned out, placing the left hand on the left thigh or the left elbow rather. You're gonna push against the right thigh with the right palm, fingers facing down and just drop the right shoulder forward. It's a really subtle twist. Breathing here, coming back up other side, right forearm onto the right thigh, gently pushing against the left thigh with the left palm, dropping the right shoulder forward. The left shoulder, excuse me. <laughs> so it's the left hand against left thigh, left shoulder coming forward. and gently release, turn to the side. So you're still on your chair. Um, I've got my right hand on the back of the chair here and all you're gonna do, again, we're sitting on the sit bones, we're lengthening through the spine. You're gonna take a hold of the back of the chair with both hands and just gently twist the thoracic spine, the upper body towards the right. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, twist to the right. Keeping both sit bones firmly on the chair, so not lifting either buttock off the chair. Feet still per firmly planted on the floor. With every inhale, grow tall. With every exhale, twist a little further. You can initiate the twist from the abdomen, drawing your belly button towards the spine, but I'm not doing that as I'm pregnant. And exhale, release, come to the other side. So this time it's the left hand that's on the back of the chair 
And again, we inhale, we grow tall. We're sitting forward on the sit bones. We exhale, twist towards the left, taking hold of the back of the chair with both hands. Twists are absolutely great for resetting the spine, especially if you've been sitting all day, might be feeling a little bit achy through the back. Helping to realign that spinal column. Keep breathing, again, keeping both sit bones firmly on the chair. Grow tall with every inhale, with every exhale, maybe twist a little further. And we exhale to release, really nice job. Let's mobilize through the back so you can keep your chair as it is, but I'm turning to the side so that you can see me a little better. And you wanna place your hands on the chair directly underneath the shoulders. The feet are directly underneath the hips. You can have the knees ever so slightly bent. Just make sure that you've got the right distance from the chair so that your back is nice and long so that you're not having to hunch over or scrunch your back in any way. You can keep that nice and long and neutral. I'm just gonna take some really simple cat cows. So on the inhale, excuse me, my hair just has a mind of its own at the moment, but um, yoga's all about the inside, not the outside. <laughs> Don't forget that. So keeping the back neutral, we inhale, we drop the belly, we look forward. We exhale, push the hands against the chair, round through the back. Inhale, belly drops, opening through the chest. Exhale, round through the back, tucking the tailbone under. Inhale, opening through the collarbones, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, push the chair away, rounding the back, belly to spine. Keep it going. In time to your own breath. Arching on the inhale. Rounding on the exhale. As you inhale, drawing the shoulder blades together at the back. As you exhale, letting them separate as you round. Really nice. Let's strengthen through the glutes. They might have fallen asleep if you've been sitting down at a desk all day. So sitting right forward on the chair, hands behind you, feet flat on the floor, hip width apart, toes facing forward so everything's parallel and making sure that you keep the thighs and knees parallel through this movement. Inhale, engage the butt muscles, the glutes to lift the hips high towards the ceiling. Opening through the chest at the same time, maybe also getting a nice little stretch through the front of the thighs, through the hip flexors. Breathing here, looking at the ceiling. Keep breathing, squeezing those glutes, squeezing, squeezing, lifting the hips high. Breathing here, filling the chest with every inhale, with every exhale, lift a little higher. And exhale, release, great job, let's do a little bit more glute strengthening. This time we're coming to standing, but using the chair for support, coming into goddess pose. So opening the legs out wide, you've got the toes pointing out. So feet are turned out and making sure through the whole posture that your knees are also tracking the direction of your feet. So you need to externally rotate through the thighs so that your Legs and feet are turned out. Remember, knees directly above the ankles as well. 
So you can hold on to the chair for support. And on the inhale, bend the knees lower, squeezing the glutes. Exhale, straighten the legs. Inhale, bend the knees, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lower. Exhale, straighten. Making sure with this movement that the tailbone is tucked under at all times. So we're not sticking the bum out. We're not arching through the lower back. If you feel really strong, you don't have to hold on to the chair. You can bring the palms to heart center as you lower and rise. And then we're gonna lower and hold. So hold here, making sure that the knees are tracking over the feet. Hold on to the chair or hands to, part, to heart center. Grow tall through the crown of the head, really squeeze through those glutes. And if you're feeling really strong at this point, I'm gonna keep hold on to the chair just to stay safe as I'm heavily pregnant. Inhale and on the exhale, come up onto the toes. Again, you can do this by bringing your hands to heart center if you feel really strong and wanna test yourself. Squeezing those glutes, breathing here, grow tall, grow tall, tuck the tailbone under, belly to spine. Not if you're pregnant, but <laughs> if you're not pregnant, belly to spine. Squeezing those glutes, breathing here. And inhale, release, exhale, straighten those legs. Really great job. Toe heel the feet together, give the legs a shake. We're gonna come into a balancing pose, tree pose. Really great for balancing the right and left side of the body. In yoga, the right side associated with the sun and masculine energy, the left side with the moon and feminine energy. So let's start standing on the right leg. Chair always there for support if you need it. So really spread the toes, spread the weight evenly through the foot, keeping the arch lifted, and then taking the sole of the left foot and either placing it against the ankle, so the toes are still on the floor, or against the shin, or if you're feeling very flexible and strong, you can take that foot and place it to the inside of the right thigh. Absolutely your choice. No pressure, all of those options will cause you to work. Just make sure that the foot is not against the inside of the knee, absolutely not on the knee, ankle, shin, or thigh. From here, tailbone tucked under, glutes engaged, belly to spine, grow tall. So you're grounding through the right foot, but at the same time lifting up. And from here, you can bring your hands to heart center Push the sole of the left foot against the right thigh, the right thigh against the foot. Find a spot that isn't moving. Breathing through the nose, engaging those glutes. And exhale, release. Great job coming onto the other side. So exactly the same this time, grounding through the left foot and again, placing the sole of the right foot either against the ankle, the shin, or against uh, the inside of the left thigh. Take the same option that you took on the other side. Um, that way you keep both sides nice and balanced. You might find that one side feels very different to the other though, and that's totally normal. So again, engaging those glutes, belly to spine, grow tall, drop the shoulders away from the ears. You can hold on to the chair or you can bring your palms to heart center. Perhaps balancing on one side is much easier than the other. Absolutely normal again. Just notice the difference without judgment or analysis. Keeping your eyes on a spot that isn't moving, pushing the sole of the right foot into the left leg and the left leg into the foot. Strong and steady like a tree, breathing in and out through the nose, engaging the glutes. Mm. 
and exhale, release. Beautiful work. Let's come back uh, seated on the chair, just doing an easy hip opening exercise. So feet firmly planted on the floor, taking the right leg first, bending the right knee and placing the right ankle on the left thigh, just above the knee. Again, you're on the sit bones. Your back is nice and long from here. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, you can either stay here, you might already be feeling a stretch in the hip, but if you want to exhale and fold forward from the hip crease, that means you're not rounding through the back, back is straight, you're folding really from the hip crease. You don't have to go very far just as far as you can actually feel a stretch either through the right hip, the right lower back, you might even feel it in the thigh. Keep the right foot flexed strongly through this whole movement. Very important to flex that right foot. If you're feeling any knee pain, just come out of the pose. Breathing here, both sit bones firmly grounded on the chair. And exhale, release, other side, bend the left knee, place the left ankle on the right thigh, just above the right knee. Again, as with tree pose, you might find one side feels very different to the other, that's fine. Flex the left foot strongly, inhale, grow tall, exhale, fold forward or stay where you are if you're already feeling a stretch. Both sit bones grounded on the chair, Back is long and straight. Sending the breath to any areas that feel tight. And with every exhale, relaxing a little more into the pose, maybe going a little further. and exhale, release. And then finally, opening the legs wide again, toes turned out. You can come forward on your chair a little bit, sit back, whatever is gonna give you the space to be able to fold all the way forward. So we're gonna inhale, grow tall, and on the exhale, you can use your hands on your thighs to help you fold forward as far as you can, but ideally all the way so that your palms come to the floor. And when your palms are on the floor, let the head go. Letting the head hang heavy really allows us to move from fight or flight into rest and digest. So let the weight of the head stretch out the neck and back. And really slowly come up. Head is heavy, head comes up last. Beautiful job, roll the shoulders up and back and we're all done. We're just gonna bring the hands to heart center, take an inhale through the nose and an exhale through the mouth. 
And then together, we inhale to Om. Om. Hands to the third eye. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Hope you have a great rest of the day and see you next time.